guys my name is Mike and welcome to my channel uh, bought the cheapest G63 in Canada and maybe in North America and I'll take you on a take you along with me on my journey of uh, fixing this thing up and making it a nice daily driver now this thing being the cheapest it obviously is so for a reason so Let's go over a few things that are wrong with it. Now, looking at the cluster, we see right away some issues. We've got a check engine light. We've got an Embrace service message. We've also got uh, brake pad wear sensor issues. Um, and overall, just looking around the interior, it's not in bad shape. It's got the diamond stitch seats, diamond stitch door panels. Um, now the previous owner had this uh, aftermarket monitor installed and when he decided to sell the vehicle he took it out now when he did that he didn't really put anything back together properly as you can see this panel's not clipped in properly we've got weird gaps here we've got a looks like the i guess that was the antenna for that screen that he just kind of taped to the windshield which isn't ideal and uh, there's also some random wires hanging down there which I'm, uh, I'm assuming for for uh, for for that screen also now uh, I went ahead and uh, scanned all these issues with my launch system here uh, I went ahead and scanned uh, scanned all these issues with my launch system here and uh, I'll put up the report and that way you guys can see what all the issues are that this uh, G-Wagon has. Let's take a quick look on the outside and see what issues we can see right off the bat. Now, I mean it's a typical G-Wagon. As you can see, the back tire is missing. Uh, the spare tire that is and that's because uh, the previous owner says he ran over a nail and uh, kept driving so as you can tell this tire is not quite usable anymore and the wheels pretty curved up also so it's uh, not in the best shape and the rest of the tires they definitely uh, are not new now this this back tire looks like it's probably at about 50% now these are Pirelli Scorpions um, the front one it's probably about 25% the wheels are pretty curved up um, the bo body is in pretty good shape there's no no major dents or dings anywhere I mean there's a bit of a scrape on the bumper some rock chips this headlight looks like it took a big rock and uh, put a hole in it so it's gonna need a new headlight but overall the body is not in bad shape now looking underneath we start seeing some issues that's the steering box there it's pretty wet I'm assuming it's got a, a leaky seal or maybe if there's enough another, another issue there we'll have to uh, look into that maybe price and price a new one out um, now the uh, the brakes I'm assuming are worn out that's why we've had that warning for the brake pad wear um, and the, the launch actually told me that it was the, the rear brake pads uh, or the sensor anyway that's failed but I'm assuming it's failed because it's come in contact with the rotor now interior just needs a really good clean I mean it's nothing's broken really uh, it's got the, the Alcantara headliner which is overall in decent shape Let's pop the hood here and take a look and see what else we can see that's wrong with it. Now I also 
noticed that this is the only piece of carbon fiber on the interior I'm assuming the previous owner just stuck that on there which I'll probably just take off this interior has got the the piano black trim so I, I think I'd much rather have that than some uh, knockoff carbon carbon fiber let's get this hood opened up here let's take a look so this being uh, the G63 it's got the 560 horsepower engine and we can see here the uh, it is pretty noisy and I did notice that um, it comes up with a message saying uh, service is exceeded by about 20,000 kilometers so that's probably not good let's take a look here yeah I see service A exceeded by 22,000 kilometers so I'm guessing it probably needs an oil change but let's shut it off and take a look take a look at the motor here so well, the motor is pretty dirty looks like that the power steering reservoir is covered in oil I don't know if it's overflowing or what the issue is there the coolant tank looks like it's uh, the overflow tank looks like it's leaking I don't know if it's a cap or the tank itself there's definitely some coolant you can see down there the front of the motor you can see there's a bit of oil that looks like it's the turbo down there so it might might have a leaky turbo and there's also oil down on the on the exhaust shield on the gasket on the header so there might be a valve cover leak or something along those lines also that uh, now we've got that sounds insulation on the hood that looks like it's falling off so that's not ideal but I mean overall it's not in bad shape it's a 2013 it does have about 200,000 kilometers on it or about 120,000 miles so it's definitely uh, seen some mileage but uh, it's only a two owner vehicle no accidents clean Carfax it's got some aftermarket taillights on it which I mean I don't mind them but I think I'd rather have the stock ones So overall not in bad shape I'm in the next video I'll price out some of the parts that it needs I've got my tire guy scheduled for tomorrow he's got bringing me a set of uh, new tires for it the factory uh, Dunlops that it came with uh, 275 50 20s um, I was thinking about maybe getting a different set of wheels for it but actually I like these wheels I've seen a lot of black ones with the black wheels and I'm not a big fan of those five five spoke black wheels but I don't mind these wheels that are on it obviously that front wheel is a spare so that's why it's different than the rest of them I may also take the spare off I've seen a few of them that don't have the spare on the back and uh, I don't mind that look but for now probably I'll just put the spare back on and uh, Try to bring this thing back to uh, as close to factory as possible i don't know if i'll put that uh, aftermarket screen back in that the last owner had i don't know if it's what if it's any better or worse than the factory one i'll do some research on it and see what it actually is um so stick around subscribe like and uh we'll go on this journey together and uh see if we can Put this thing back on the road. Thanks guys.